Are you in a situation where you're exposed to a narcissistic person? Whether in a romantic relationship, at work or at home, whatever you're in, it's true that it's hard to be in the same room with these types of people. We all have our breaking point, but don't wait to drain yourself before you decide to cut ties with them. Here are 10 ways how going out contact with narcissists will liberate you. 10. Blocking the narcissist in all your social media accounts Have you tried scrolling through your Facebook newsfeed and seeing the post of a toxic person you know? How did seeing the post make you feel? If visiting the posts induced a negative feeling, then it would be best not ever to see any posts from that same person. There goes the block option that saves the day. You cannot see the posts and statuses of the people you block on social media. This fact alone liberates you from knowing what's going on in the lives of your abuser. Another perk of blocking is that it doesn't allow the narcissist to follow and see your posts and other updates. He cannot also send you any messages. Going no contact with a narcissist will significantly affect them since they're used to having power and control over you. When they can no longer reach you on social media, it is like cutting the string that formerly allowed them to control you like a puppet. 9. Refusing to answer the narcissist's emails, texts, or calls He might have already blocked them on all social media platforms you have. Now they might have realized that they are now blocked and can no longer see what you're doing based on your posts. Given the nature of a narcissist, however, they will undoubtedly try other platforms where they can reach you. Their next step would be messaging you on your phones. They could also try calling you if you don't answer their texts. Do they know your email? If yes, then they could also try to reach you through email. Whatever means of communication they try to use, you must refuse to answer any of those. Don't ever try to answer the call, text, or email from the person who gaslighted and invalidated your entire existence. They want your attention and not your heart. That's why you should not succumb to their wants because their ego will continue to inflate. This is for yourself. It's time to get loose from the person who caged you and prevented you from being free. 8. Changing your phone number There is no better way of refusing a narcissistic person's messages and calls than changing your phone number. The moment you decide to go no contact, you better commit to it fully. Change your number. In that way, they cannot message or call you anymore. If they have tried to let you feel small many times in the past, being unable to contact you will step on their ego and make them frustrated. Let them be furious. Let them feel when they are supposed to feel. It's not their peace you're caring for anyway. It is your peace. Thus, do anything to pick yourself up and protect the inner peace that was robbed from you since the day you met them. 7. Changing the passwords of all your accounts It is standard for people closely tied in a relationship to share their passwords to assure the sacredness of the relationship that both of you are trying to build. Though it's not recommended since that signifies trust is not present in both parties, still, many are doing this. Maybe you have shared your passwords with your narcissistic partner. Once you decide to stop the repetitive patterns of emotional and mental abuse, you should automatically change your passwords. By this, they cannot hack and use your private files to blackmail you. You should keep your passwords to yourself, for they should be personal and confidential. You cannot just trust anyone, even though someone is your partner. You have suffered enough manipulation in the hands of a narcissist. This serves as a lesson not to give your passwords to anyone. You should choose yourself now. Protect your privacy. 6. Avoiding the places where the narcissist frequents Maybe you had been together for so long that you already know the place where they frequently go. If you don't want any toxic encounters, help yourself by not going near the location of these narcissists. If you still have your things in the narcissist's residence, do not try to retrieve them. You're just trying to bring yourself to the lion's den. You're just trying to give them a chance to trap you. If they get a chance to be with you, they could use all their tactics to guilt trip and remind you of the romantic and exciting things you have experienced together. Do not believe them because the moment the honeymoon phase of your relationship is over, they will return to the same old patterns of manipulation and gaslighting. 5. Not going to events where the narcissist is around Aside from not going to the places the narcissists frequently go, it is better to avoid the events where they will also be around. For example, you went to the same high school together and there's a reunion for your batch. You know that they could be attending. It's better not to go so that they will not have a chance to talk to you and beg you to be back with them. 4. When the narcissist wants to meet with you, turn it down. They may try to reach out to you again, asking you to meet with them. Even if it's in a public place, get together with your mutual friends or alone, disagree on meeting with them. You know what will come next in that meetup. They will have access to you again and can tell you words that would make you feel guilty about leaving your relationship. As soon as they come close to you, they will attempt to control your emotions by reminding you of how joyful you were when you were together. They urge you to go back to those sentimental moments from when the relationship was young and you were deeply in love. 
Three, not giving the narcissist a chance to know what you're doing through the people you're constantly with. The reason why you have blocked their number and from your various social media accounts is to block them from your entire life. You want to keep them out of your life. Thus, it would be better if you remain private. You should not talk about your personal life matters to people you keep on saying, like your colleagues, friends and others. In that way, they cannot retrieve any information about you. 2. Cutting off ties with the narcissist's family and closest circle of friends. Going no contact with your narcissist's partner should also mean that you must also go no contact with their family, relatives and closest circle of friends. Because they're close to them, they may take their side. They might not believe that you're the victim. Maybe in their eyes, you're the evil villain trying to destroy the life of their loved one. It's not healthy for you to keep on having a relationship with them since there will come a time that you might still be in one room because you're still close with the people you're close with. 1. Getting help from legal authorities Are they that persistent to see and communicate with you? After all you've been doing to cut the contact, the narcissist could still show up at a place where you work or wait near your home. If that's the case that they cannot leave you in peace, it's now time to get help from the police and file a temporary restraining order or TRO. This will be the final step if the narcissist keeps bothering you like there's no tomorrow. They might find you no contact act amusing. Thus, they may continue to show up in front of you. They might stalk you, show up in your workplace, wait for you in a parking lot or contact your friends. These acts are somewhat alarming, for they act like an obsessed and desperate addict trying to get in touch with their drug. Your life might be in danger if they keep doing these things. If so, do not hesitate to contact the help of the police and file a civil case against them. This is for your own sake. This could become your last chance to finally liberate yourself from your perpetrator. No contact unquestionably has a catastrophic impact on narcissists. Sadly, narcissists typically don't let their victims off the hook too quickly and will go to any lengths to win them back. No contact is a permanent state not something you practice for a couple of days or a month. If the narcissist knows how to get in touch with you, they will pester you for years to come. Will you let them continue to inflict pain and belittle you or cut them off completely so that you will regain the lost part of yourself after your devastating relationship? Let us know in the comments.